Any discussion of emancipation will inevitably be clouded by the Will Smith of it all and Apple's decision to release the movie into the teeth of award season. The focus will thus skew towards Smith and lingering fallout from the slap during last year's Oscars and away from an earnest and some film that's generally solid but unspectacular enough to render that conversation largely moot. The real-life 1863 photo known as Whipped Peter starkly illustrates the ravages slavery inflicted on the back of a man who escaped bondage after Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Peter's story thus becomes the spine of a grueling escape adventure, shot in striking black and white that only seems to heighten the harrowing nature of his flight, the dankness of the Louisiana swamps and the brutality that it entails. Taken to work laying railroad track, Peter overhears word of Lincoln's pronouncement and realizes his best chance at freedom involves reaching the Union Army in Baton Rouge. Because he spends much of the movie breathlessly on the run, Smith actually goes long stretches without speaking as he flees from a ruthless slave hunter, Ben Foster, and his men, pursuing on horseback and with dog skin to his scent. The only respite from that involves Peter's wife, Dodien, from whom he has been separated as she tries to keep the family together and he dreams of returning to her. Effectively adopting a Haitian accent, Smith captures the physicality of the role and Peter's defiance toward his captors without uttering a word. The character derives strength from his devout faith, prompting a fellow prisoner to pointedly ask if he truly believes God is with them, where is he? While the haunting aspect of the photograph grounds emancipation in reality, there's a pronounced Hollywood feel to the finished product, one that doesn't compare favorably with other projects that have covered similar territory, among recent examples the biographical Harriet and Amazon's fictionalized miniseries, The Underground Railroad. Having produced the film, Apple had to release it at some point, and in what appears to be a wide-open Oscar race, now is likely as good a time as any. But the inevitable debate over whether Smith's indiscretion at last year's Academy Award ceremony and the subsequent ban imposed on his attendance might have cost him the chance to give his King Richard statuette a golden bookend would have been more fully tested by a movie that's better than this one.